Welcome, welcome back to another segment here, my friend of Drawing With The Rouse. I'm so glad that you uh, found it in your day to come and stop by and draw with me once again. So uh, I have another uh, thought-provoking uh, video tutorial about caricature. Uh, today we have a different model here. I like to pick different models because, you know, people come in an array of different... Uh, shapes and sizes and stuff and what makes caricatures so interesting is that you know you get to see so many different faces and create so many different looks and you know and i encourage you that as you're doing this this is you know just as a, a rule of thumb don't get caught up in systems and all these rules and all that okay the first thing you want to do is you want to be able you want to create that's the most important thing you want to have fun you want to create okay and then you know yes you'll have a little bit of analytical stuff going on in your mind but if you think too analytically once again you're not going to uh, be able to really explore the depths of what you're truly capable of so let that be not only a lesson in caricature but in life as well now let's go ahead and get started uh, for this drawing i want you to go ahead and get out your sharpie or your crayola whatever you like to draw with sometimes you'll see me draw with this little looks like a crayola marker but uh it's actually like a knockoff that i got from target but it's the same marker so you don't really need to have anything special and then uh we're gonna go ahead and draw this drawing okay so i'm not gonna go all scientific on you i'm just gonna i'm gonna see let the drawing kind of come to me um you know what i'm seeing here i'm seeing a head shape so I'm, I'm going to use like a really light little head shape line here. I think it's about that wide, maybe, right? And then I'm seeing like a little ear shape over here. Okay. And then over here, I see this little ear shape over here. So I'm just gonna kind of come around and try to do it the best I can. Now I see his beard's kind of covering up over here, so that's why I didn't draw the whole thing in there. All right, now I don't know how long I want this beard to be, so sometimes what I'll do is I'll, I'll come down here and, and draw like the bottom of the beard, this way I have somewhere to shoot at, right? You know what I mean? So now I can come over here and We can draw our beard together. And then we'll come over here. And we'll do the same thing. Let's go ahead and put our neck shape here. So his neck, he doesn't look like a, I guess he does look like a kind of big guy. So uh, let me see here. I guess I'll do something like this here. I won't give him a neck that's too small, but not one that's too big. Okay. I think that looks good, right? <laughs> All right. Now we're going to come up here. And this is the, kind of the trick to drawing. People see how his hairline is very set back. So up here, what I do is I'll make a real light little line. And I'll put some little circles in there, right? And I'll come over here. I'll do the same concept. Okay, because he has very little hair showing in the picture, you know what I mean? So that's part of his caricature. So learning how to use these markers in a thick and thin type of fashion is going to be uh, something that um, I suggest you kind of work on. You know, you just it just comes with time and practice, you know? All right, so now what I'm going to do here all right is i'm going to draw my eyes so how i think about my eyes are like kind of like I, I picture a string going from like the top of the ear somewhere around here to this ear so straight across and then what i'll do is on that string if you matter of fact i'll tell you what i'll do just so you can you can see it visually all right i'll go here and i think okay this is the string right here 
Can you see it? Okay. And then what I do is on that string, right, his eyes have a little bit of, I'd say he has a little bit of intensity. So what I would do here is I do a shape like this. I'll come right out that line and I'll just put my eyes in there like I want. Right? Then I'll draw my pupils inside of the shape, right? All right? And then once I have that, now what I do is I work my angle off the eye, right? Watch. see how I worked my angle off of the eye I, I connected my eyes to the line and then I made my angle off the line so really the eye ball itself is not really what's slanted it's really the outside of the eye and then what I'll do here I just go ahead and add my top piece right now watch when I add my eyebrows Okay, and then we'll put a little circle of light and look at there. Okay, couldn't get closer with a Kodak, right? <laughs> All right, now he has quite a bit of a, uh, uh, now basically the, 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 uh, the length of your nose is always measured. A lot of times we focus as caricatures on this from the, from the eye to the nose and that's not really a accurate way to draw the nose you want to look at it from the from the brow all the way down here so you will draw the correct length and you won't be judged you won't make the nose further down here because you're starting from here and not considering that there's this much space in between the eye. this makes up that area as well so another way to do it is to look at the eye from here once again you'll come down here right and I'll say okay now his nose is about right here based off of the drawing Okay, so see how I just drew the bottom of the nose? Then I just put a supporting shape, and now we can see a little bit of a line coming like this into his nose shape, okay? Now, let's back out a little bit. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna draw the mustache shape, right? So we'll just come here and we'll draw the little mustache shape. Okay, and then we'll draw this little shape here. Okay, now let's go ahead and draw um, our, our smile. So what we're doing is we're looking at that line here at the bottom lip. So here, that line right there, what I'm doing is I'm saying, okay, and then I might, I might exaggerate it a little bit, but I'm, I don't want to make it too big because it doesn't have a real big mouth. So I'll just do something like this, right? And then I just put the teeth, I just put my little teeth shape in there, right? And a little bit of the top lip, okay? And he has a little gap right there. No problem, use a light line there. And then I just put my gum line in there, okay? Now we'll come down here and we'll put the bottom lip here and we can see a little bit of hair is just coming right off that bottom lip there okay let's back out let's go over here to our side so everything's not going to line up perfect you know because you, you obviously we're doing some exaggeration so I try to stay away from extreme exaggerations I want the picture to look like a simplified version and this is just how I see people in my caricature now you might see people with those really we call them super bendy faces you know where they got all these you know they got a lot of weird features and their gums are protruding from their head and right in there the teeth are just like ah right some caricatures draw like that and who's better in the world well it's clear that I am not messing with you. I am so joking about that. But everybody has a different style. You know what I mean? Okay. And now that we have that done, see, now it's real simple. We just add a little bit of 
direction lines here for our beard. Uh, he has a little bit of a, I just put a few little strokes like that, right? Okay. I don't want to put a, a lot of them. Okay. And then we'll go ahead here and we can put our little line here. Now he has his, he's way up here. His, his shoulders are kind of like way so it's like way over here, but then this one comes, so the point of it is gonna come here. So I wanna come out about right here. All right, you know what I'm saying? So that looks like him right there. All right, so now let's just go ahead and erase our, our little line where we hung our eyes at, right? That eye hanging thing is a real cool little technique, right? It makes you see the eyes better, All right? <laughs> right, okay. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take a gray marker, just like the first one, okay? And then I'm going to do some shadows. So just follow along, see how I did the ones in the eyes? Okay, and then we got this one here. A little bit down here. These, This right here will help your to bring dimension out without had it having to add any extra lines to the drawing these are not lines these are shadows so that's why i use it because you can see here it doesn't really draw your eye to the the, the uh that spot as much as make it more contoured you know so down here I might do a little shadow and I'm gonna break out a crayon here in just a minute All right and just so we can okay and notice how I kind of colored underneath that little line right there right there on the edge see how I gave it that little bit of shadow gave it a little bit of a 3d effect so I thought that was pretty uh, worthy of note mention right all right and then we can we can actually um, I'm gonna go ahead and get out my my uh, my crayon see I have my Crayola crayons right so you don't need anything expensive all right so we'll just get out this uh, we got a jumbo crayon here so I just put the rest of these here to the side. And then we just wanna kinda use this marker here to coloring up our mustache here. So just, this is the way I, you know, I, I would color it, you know, just kinda doing an upstroke and a downstroke, upstroke, downstroke. And now we got a wave pattern going on here. So we got to go into the wave, go into the middle of the wave, leaving some light in there, right? And then we'll go to the top of the wave, right? See how I was able to leave the wave in there by doing it that way, right? You know, that's how you draw waves. Okay. I'm coming around here I'm just gonna darken up this beard a little bit more because it's the one that that's like kind of up front so I might put a little bit more well I could have actually went darker behind it which is the way I should have done it but it's okay let me see here there we go and then I'll just go ahead here color in my shirt All right. And last but not least, what I like to do at the ends, I'll take like a Sharpie because it has darker ink and I just go over those eyeballs real quick. And then I'll put some, some dark kind of right here, some kind of right here. And I'll tell you what, remember we said we was gonna, so we'll just put a little bit of dark right under the mustache here. 
and then it brings that mustache kind of forward. Okay. So, pretty much we are done. See, it's a simple caricature, right? All we have to do is sign our work. So I'm gonna sign mine here. I want to thank you so much, my friend, for watching the video tutorial. I will be posting more videos and tutorials, more draw alongs, guys, where we're gonna draw some more different faces. I encourage you to come back. <laughs> even if not for just a cool drawing just so that I could uh, hang out with you I think you're uh, a pretty awesome person to hang out with <laughs> and uh, I appreciate your time so if you have any questions or comments leave them in the comment section below any requests maybe and then we also do uh, uh, we also do commission drawings so if you'd like to commission us to create a memory for you we do 18 by 12 family portraits or individual portraits maybe you have somebody that has a birthday or a wedding or something like that and you want to do that you can just uh message us uh, rouseaworld.com uh, and go to our contact us page simply send us the photographs we'll create from your photo and then we'll ship those out to you okay so other than that don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And uh, once again, I had a great time drawing with you. Happy penciling. Hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video tutorial. If you did, don't hesitate guys to go ahead and give us a like. Also guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notifications button. This way, when we put up new material, you'll be the first to know. If you have any questions about our markers or pens or paper, and you'd like to know where I get some of the materials that I use here on my art stream, there's a link in the description below, so you can go ahead and check that out as well. And also guys, we'd like to welcome your questions and comments so that we can get some new ideas. You know, it's always good to have new fresh ideas for our next and upcoming videos. Oh, and don't forget to check out these two super cool videos right here. So guys, thanks again for your love and support of our channel. You guys be safe out there. And as always guys, I wish you happy cartooning.